Okay, so in the last video we set up a virtual router in ESXi 6.5, got uh, the basic configuration set up. Now we need to set up the cloud service that that router is going to talk to. So <clears throat> the starting point is to go to um, the cloud provider that I found. They're cheap and easy. Um, this will cost about 15 bucks total, but then you'll have a cloud service for several months. Um, it's a prepay system, so you'll set up your account, pay 15 bucks, and then it will uh, deduct the, the money from your account. And I think it's like four bucks a month or something like that. It's, it's really cheap. Um, so I will leave the link in here, but it's pretty easy. Uh, VoIP.ms. And just go ahead and uh, get started by signing up for an account. You can fill out the information um, and uh, they will send you uh, a link to your email to confirm that. You might even have to open up a chat. Um, it's possible. Um, and even if you do have to do that, the live chat, they're really responsive. They'll have your uh, account set up real quick. So just take a couple minutes to go and do that. Um, I already have an account, so I'm going to go ahead and log in. And once you have uh, your account, you can go to the finances tab and add funds. Um, and you can use, you know, you can use a credit card if you want. Um, you can set up automatic billing or you can use PayPal. And it's important that you do that before you do anything else. And you might even have to wait a couple minutes for those funds to actually hit your account because the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is order DID numbers. So these are your phone numbers. So you can go into DID numbers, order DIDs. And I'll run through this and just not get one. But uh, I'm gonna be in the United States and you can select by state. This might actually be, so I'm in Michigan, so I'll go ahead and click search and um, I, it's loading. I think it's actually loading, but I'll just, oh yeah, there it loaded. So I didn't, even though it gave me an error, if you just search by state, it will now pull down these different um, counties. Um, so yeah, let's just say you live in Detroit Zone 1. You can view numbers in your area. And there you go. You can get a 313 number if you want. And you can add these to your trunk if you want. So 425 a month, zero cents per minute, okay. And then you can Make sure that it your well actually we haven't gone over that yet but um, this is your main SIP account number um, that's something we'll talk about later and you'll want to make sure that it says something like that right now and then you can go ahead and click order DID I'm not going to do that because I already have one then for the next step you're going to want to go to main menu account settings inbound settings and make sure that the device type is set to IPBBX server asterisk or soft switch. You can do <clears throat> you can do like that uh, magic jack type of thing or buy your own ATA, um, and uh, it'd be, actually be a lot simpler than having your own full blown um, uh, call manager. But um, that's we're trying to set up a full lab, so that's that's what we want. We want the IPBBX server asterisk or soft switch. So now in that same section, um, we are gonna go over to the default DID routing. Um, so we were on inbound settings. We are gonna go over to default DID routing. <clears throat> and I'm gonna get out a notepad and I am going to be ready to jot a couple things down. So um, you can choose which uh, pop server you're gonna use. So I would use one that's close to your location. <clears throat> um, for this one, let's see, I think I will use New York 4, and I am going to go ahead and copy this and put it in a notepad. And then if I go down, 
This, I'm going to want to take note of uh, this main account SIP number because that will be used for authentication as calls are sent to this trunk. So I'll just write that. And that is 299. And I'm also going to want to document my DID number. Um, so for that, you go to DID numbers, manage DIDs. And I'm just going to copy and paste that. Onto my notepad. And another thing that we will need for our router to forward to this uh, cloud SIP trunk is the main SIP IAX password. Um, I would just uh, set random password and send email. They will just uh, get a random password for you and they will send that to your email address and um, then you will be able to use that to register um, your voice gateway. And that should be about it for this portal. Um, so if you go to main menu, portal home, You'll see your balance, your DIDs, and then down here, main account registration status. So when our router is set up properly and registered with this um, uh, cloud service, this will turn green and it will say registered. And that's it for this video. In the next video, I will actually um, go back into the configuration of our um, virtual router and um, register this so that we can start making outbound calls. Thank you for so for, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and there will be more videos to come. Thanks.